We're on a Tension Lake platform out off the west coast of Africa and here we've got uh, a monitoring system that we have installed that is subsea on the tendon. And what the subsea monitoring system does is it measures the tension on the tendons as the tides change and as the wave action takes place. Okay, this is a first of a kind installation uh, with that's going to be replacing these uh, load cell systems. We're here on a TLP on the west coast of Africa. Uh, we just installed a tendon tension monitoring system. It is a new system that replaces load cells. In the case of this platform, I think it only took a year uh, to four years for them to fail. Well, they can't drill anymore with failed load cells because they don't know when they put that one million pounds of force on the top how to balance their system. Fiber optic sensors were developed years ago and we applied them first of all on solid rocket motors as part of defense and as part of projects that we worked with NASA. It has lightweight clamps that can be installed subsea by divers uh, with a subsea epoxy that uh, mounts directly onto the tendon. And the divers came down and they attached to the tendons uh, these fiber optic sensors that then feed directly into the control system. The sensors are located subsea. They're about 60 feet below the surface of the water for the first sensor station and then there's another one located about 120 feet under the surface of the water. The signal from the sensors comes up through this tube in a cable one of the keys to success of the system is that these fiber optics form a loop down to the sensors. And so even if there's a break in the middle, you can go from either direction. And so even with the break, you can capture the data for all of the sensors in this loop. From there, it runs in to the control room. Fibers, they come in here through these cables, and then they come in through this junction box, and then up to the fiber optic sensing module. This is the sensing module that sends the lasers down the fiber optics, down to the sensors, and then comes back up in here. And from there, we gather data, analyze the data, and determine what the loads are on these tendons. The computer analyzes those signals to give us the measurements of temperature compensation and also strain. The strain measurements are then converted into a load so we know the load on each of the tendons. The technology is based, as I said, on fiber optics. It uses no electric current and it is entirely light, it is entirely light driven. Now here you can see the overview of the platform. So the four tendons and here is the load right now. So about 500, 550 kips or 550,000 pounds. Let me go to the past 24 hours. So that shows uh, the, this is going to show the tides here, okay? So you see the values coming up as the tide comes up and the tension on the tendons increases. We were successful in monitoring the, the load and the strain and the vibration, including vortex induced vibration, in order to determine what the fatigue like would be of a drilling riser and then afterwards a production riser. We've also used the same technology to measure extremely long flow lines. In the Gulf of Mexico, we have a project where we incorporated fiber optic sensors to measure the temperature and the pressure and the strain along a 60-mile subsea tieback, which is in water depths of approaching 7,500 feet. 